Yummy Dodgy Blondies Part 2. grams of white chocolate if you've not got white chocolate chips just use any white chocolate that you've got cut it into chunks and now I'm going to put these in my baking tray Again, just like you did with the brownies, we're going to spread that out. You can leave it just like this if you want white chocolate blondies. You can even put a few more white chocolate chunks in if you like, if you just want to leave it as a white chocolate blondie. the bit that turns it into a jammy dodgy blondie. A teaspoon raspberry jam and I'm using M&S's seedless raspberry conserve. Finish the jar off there. Eh? Let's get some more of this. Everybody's comments on this jam. How delicious it is. I use seedless then, folk don't get seeds in the tin. and I run it through so that you get jam in every bit
And now, I like a mouthful of jam in every bite. Right, now I'm going to put your jammy dodges on. Now, sometimes I break these up into chunks and I sprinkle them on, but today, because I've got a lot of jammy dodges, I'm going to put one on each slice. Put a slice and there'll be a jammy dodger on each one. These family packs are, are um, ideal, really. Saying that, I don't think I've got enough. Some more in the cupboard. Well, that would be enough. Just a minute. And just like that, I have another packet. I met custard cream blondies as well. They're nice as well. You put custard powder, custard powder in them. I'll do them again. I think really nice right there we go in the oven for 40 minutes then test them cocktail stick in the middle if it comes out wet with wet crumbs stuck to it they're ready don't be tempted to leave it in bring them out they'll be nice and fudgy when they've been cooled down and in the fridge for a couple of hours bob's your uncle i hope you all enjoy the football tonight guys My pillow mix, sir. Have you seen it, guys? Look at it. It's dropping to bits. It's on its last legs. I keep dreaming about having a kitchen aid. I will get one one day. I hope. I was accepted about six months ago into the... Um, TikTok Creator Fund, which is nice, as you don't, um, you don't, was I invited, did, did I apply, I think I applied, don't think you get invited, and uh, I applied and I got accepted straight away, which means I am now part of the Creator Fund, but um, there's pros and cons to that, really. Which is great, don't bother me, but some people would just want to make plenty of money. Well, I don't know which is the best way for them to go about it. But for me, it's um, it depends on if your views on your video, if people watch them for more than a I think it's, the videos have to be longer than a minute, which mine are. Got to have good... Um, communication with your followers and that which I think I do I'd like to ask you guys that question and um, if people watch it for over a certain amount of seconds commenting and things like that all adds to the to whether your uh, videos qualify or not so you don't get paid for every view on every video you only get paid so much for um, videos that qualify. TikTok art, yeah. Um, they're not gonna. I don't think they're gonna make people with a, a medium account like mine into millionaires overnight. Um, but it's nice because you get a little bit of money once a month that goes towards for me ingredients more than anything which is a big thing for me but i thought if i could get me not me followers up but me views up i might be able to buy a kitchen in.